In this lesson, I will show you how you can use conditional formatting to format a range of cells based on a specific criteria that you give it. In this lesson, you will see there is a resource file uh, named Lesson 3. It's got a tab that says Practice and a tab that says Result. The result will be the conditional formatting uh, done the correct way already. Practice would be for you to work from. Um, and I will also be working on this sheet here. So if you do it yourself and you do get stuck, you can always go to my results worksheet and go and see what the right rules were and how they were applied. So what we need to do, all the products in this range here that contain the word produce needs to be filled with yellow and all the sales values that are less than a thousand dollars need to be filled with red they need to be bold and the font color must be white so let's simply do the first one we highlight the range that we want to work from make sure you are on the home tab you'll go to conditional formatting click on the little down arrow so there are two ways to do it. The first one would be to just, because highlight cells is a very popular rule, they have it as one of the top ones. So you'll go to highlight cells, text that contain. So now, as you can see, it already picks up the first word there, which is dairy. And it's already highlighted all the dairy. So we don't want the word dairy, we want the word produce, like that. And also we don't want it with a red fill with a dark red text. So we'll click on the little down arrow here, custom format. You'll go on top here to fill and we want it to be yellow. And then, okay, and as you can see there, they are all yellow. If we want to remove this conditional formatting, select your range again, click on the little arrow by conditional formatting, clear rules from selected cells, not from entire sheet, from selected cells. Another way to do this, we will click on conditional formatting, we'll say new rule. Now there are some options here. So format cells, all cells based on their values, we don't want that, we want format only cells that contain. So the cell value, we want a specific text. So containing the word produce and how do we want it formatted the we're doing it this way is nice because it gives you an actual preview of what it would look like so how do we want it formatted we want it filled with yellow and this is basically what it's going to look like let's just move this out the way as you can see it's the same there and press ok and then you'll see they are all highlighted well, they're all filled yellow. The next one would be to work on the sales, the totals range. So we'll select this whole range here. I am selecting the whole range, including the subtotals. Don't worry about that. We want to find something that is less than a thousand dollars. So now we'll go to conditional formatting. You can use the highlight cells again and choose less than it would work the same as the previous one but I'll do it as new rules so we'll do new rule um, format cells that contain a cell value so we're formatting only the cells only cells that contain a cell value which is what we want because we're not working on any of these. We want a cell value that is less than 1,000. How do we want the format to look? Um, I'm just going to move this out the way again. We want it to be red. We want the font to be bold. And we want the font color to be white. So that is what it would look like, like that. And then we'll simply say OK. And as you can see, all the cells 
with values less than a thousand has been formatted to our criteria. If you want to, if something goes wrong and you can't find the default, we can always go to the results section here. Just highlight the, the cell there, click on conditional formatting and say manage rules. Then you'll see here's the rule here. You can click on edit rule and then you can see what I've selected here and see where you've gone wrong if there were any mistakes. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next lesson.